The Northern Cape has more than 20,000 sex workers. Among them is this mother of four. She says her priority is to provide for her children, despite the dangers she faces in the streets. It was not like I was committing a crime or I was hurting someone or killing someone. I was only providing for myself and for my children. It doesn't matter whether we stay in a shack or mama is a sex worker. I know that Hore, it's not easy out there in the street, but you guys have to kneel down also and pray Hore, mama is coming back. Because if mama comes back, mama comes back with a school bag, school shoes, providing food. This 31-year-old has been a sex worker for some eight years. She says during these years, police have been treating her like the enemy. You just feel that whenever you're facing a situation like you have been not only beaten up by a client who doesn't want to pay you, but you go to the authority for help and then when you get there you find that they reject you and they threat you, they discriminate you, they do, they do very bad, awful stuff to us that at the end of the day you are scared to go to subs for help. Currently, the country has more than 150,000 sex workers. The Deputy Minister of Social Development says work is underway to decriminalize sex work to ensure that the rights of sex workers are upheld. The timelines is that by 2024, at March, decriminalization must have happened. But the discussions with sectors are happening sex workers, the church, all different sectors that seem to be uh, involved in sex work are happening for us to try and say at the end of the day, if men can have sex with men who are not gay, who go back to their wives, and that is understood, why is it when I choose as a woman to use my body as my business, there's an issue. These sex workers say quitting is not an option. With their lives still considered a crime, they maintain that putting food on the table is high risk, as their lives are always in danger. Nereath Lagoza, SBC News, Kimberley.